What's up, guys? Mighticus here, your coach for the Boston Beedrills. Thank you for joining me for week three of the American Pokemon Association. The Beedrills have started out not so great this season. We are 0 and 2, unfortunately. We have fallen the first two weeks. Um, but it's okay. We, uh, we lost week one against Fa uh, Phantom Base and the New York Cosmogs. And then in week two, we lost two six foot hacks. Uh, of the Durham Dragons. So guys, it's, it's been tough. Um, we actually haven't won a match in uh, APA since season one. Um, because last season we actually went one in 11, but our one win came from a forfeit. Um, so we're looking a little rough around the edges, uh, but we're gonna try to pull it through today. We're going against Mewtwo fan Nate of the New York Noibats. Um, I think we're both zero and two. Um, so maybe, just maybe, we can pick up a win this week. I really, really, really hope. Um, I didn't put as much prep into this team as I did against Leo um, or Sip, Six Foot Hacks, as he is known. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I, I still like the sets I'm bringing. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to play more aggressive or more passive. Um, I think typically I, pay, I play too passive until it's too late and then I try to play aggressive. Um, so we'll, we might just need to change our battle scheme. Maybe it's not the prep that's doing us wrong. Maybe it's just actually playing, um, you know, turn by turn. We'll have to kind of just play it by ear and see. Let me know what you think in the, uh, in the comments below. Uh, Hopefully you've watched my previous two matches and you're and you're watching this one So maybe you can kind of give me some insight on what I can do differently. Is it my prep? Is it my Passiveness am I being too aggressive? And I'm just not realizing it uh, So let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, if you like this video Make sure you like it subscribe to the channel definitely gonna be having a lot of fun this season in the APA um, Hopefully gonna have some let's plays that are coming to the channel soon, too. That should be really fun um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try to connect to Nate now and try to get this battle on the road. See you guys soon. Alright guys, it looks like we have connected to Nate. We're just waiting for him to decide the rules here. Uh, and we'll be good to go. Oh, we really, really, we really need this win. We really do. Um, I'm going to let Nate decide and hopefully he chooses to decide himself. Uh, and that will get the ball rolling a little bit quicker for us. I'm always afraid that if I select the rules, um, no, I don't want to cancel the battle. Uh, I'm always afraid if I select the rules, I'm going to mess it up and we're going to go in there with, uh, oh my gosh, I guess he chose to let me do it. Um, okay, I'll go ahead and decide myself. I'm going to take a chance on myself here <laughs> and see if we can get this going. Um... It's the normal rules, right? Yeah. So I'm always uh, confused around, uh, between the, the uh, regular rules and the flat rules, but uh, we should be good to go. Hopefully this is the team that I need in my box right here. Nope, not the Muse. Um, yep, that's going to be the team that we're bringing this week. Wanted to make sure it was right before I started clicking too many buttons. Too fast. Uh, but here we go. I mean, we got a defensive Salamence this week, so that's going to be a little different. Um... And uh, we have a speed boosting Kartana uh, with four moves. I, I think I might have should have put Swords Dance on there uh, to, to make myself a bigger threat because uh, that could really give me an opportunity to sweep. Uh, but didn't do it. Uh, okay, so let's look at this team real quick. We got the Mega Altaria that we're facing in Fernip, which is assumed to be Scarf. Uh, the Gligar uh, Sarperia, which is scary. Um, the... Uh, that metal bug thing, I cannot ever remember that thing's name. Uh, and Heliolisk, which is uh, kind of scary too. Um, so our best lead here um, could be the Muck. It could be the Muck. Uh, he doesn't have a lot for Muck. Mm. Doesn't have a lot for Muck. He has that metal bug thing, whatever it's called. Uh, we could lead Ninetales, go ahead and get an Aurora Veil off. That could also be interesting. Um, 
The only thing is, if he was to lead his Scarf Infernape, uh, that would immediately put us uh, in a bad spot. Leading Pyroar could also be a little interesting, um, but I think I'm going to lead with Muck. Um, worst thing that could happen, I think, is him to lead... Um, I mean, anything really with a, a ground move. Um, so good luck, Nate. Uh, hopefully this will be a not so hexy battle. Uh, I haven't had an issue with that too much this season. Uh, not ones that would actually contribute to a, uh, a loss or anything like that. Overwhelmingly, anyway. Uh, so there's the Ivan News, the Muck, the Alolan Muck, and Electro Snick, which is the Heliolisk. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull the Calx up and see exactly how much this thing is threatening us. He's probably going to assume that we are going to be um, Assault Vest. Uh, so he's going to be free just to uh, Volt Switch on us here. And we're, we're Choice Band. Um, so a th Volt Switch is going to do about 32 to 38%. And that's if he's Life Orb. Um, he could be Specs. Uh, very, very easily could be Specs. Uh, and a, a spec set is going to be doing about 44% max, uh, which is a lot, actually. Um, that's actually a lot. So our Pokemon choices that we can go into, we can go straight into the Go Lurk here, but he probably has Surf. Um, so it's probably not a great move. Um, honestly, we don't really have a lot that we can go into. Uh, we probably just need to go ahead and go for the knockoff. Uh, poison Jab would kill, um, but I think I just want to go for the knockoff and try to knock off an item um, from one of his uh, people. Uh, he goes for the U-turn, um, so that should do very little, very, very little. Uh, and so whatever comes in here is going to take off a banded knockoff, and if it's not the Artaria, it should take a lot of damage. Uh, I would love to see the Infernape come in here and possibly lose its Scarf. Uh, I would also like to see uh, maybe that Metal Bug thing come in. Maybe lose a Choice Band if that's what it has. Uh, probably the best choice is for him to go into... Uh, I'm going to keep calling it the Metal Bug thing because I cannot for the life of me remember what the name of it is. Uh, that's probably the play, I would assume. I'm gonna actually look up the name on my phone real quick um, of that bug thing. Let's see, bug types Pokemon. Cause uh, I don't know why I cannot remember the name of that thing. Actually, probably better just to go to the dock that we use for the season. Miko is coming out, which is Gligar. This thing's going to take a big old knockoff and lose its Eviolite, um, which is actually really huge. Um, just just for the sake of not calling it the metal bug thing, I am going to look and just make sure that, that thing is called what it is, and it is an Escavalier. Actually, that's what I kept wanting to say, but... Um, no, actually, I wanted, to keep see, I wanted to say Espelancer, and that was the guy who was in our league in Season 1. So, um, yeah. So we got the Gligar here, um, which can threaten us with an Earthquake. Um, so that's going to be interesting. How much does an Earthquake do? It does quite a bit to us. Um, way more than we're willing to take. Uh, yeah, way more than we're willing to take. And so at this point, we can go into our Salamence if we want to. Um, I think that'd be the best play. Uh, how much would we be taking with our nine tails? I wonder. Um, nine tails, very little. Thirty-eight percent could get us um, to where we will get our Aurora Veil up, um, or we can go into Salamence and put on some pressure. He won't know what we are. Uh, I think Salamence is the play, uh, or we can go into Nicholas here. Uh, but I think I'm going to go into our uh, Salamence. And either he's going to go get his rocks up, expecting us to switch, uh, which I think is 
probably more than likely. Yeah, that's what he does. Knows that we're not going to stay in. Uh, and now he's got his rocks up. And we're in um, not a lot of trouble because we do have Roost on our Salamence. Uh, he doesn't know this is going to be a defensive Salamence. Um, and so let's see exactly what Salamence can do. Uh, not a lot, to be honest. Not a lot. But we can go ahead and, and, and fire off some Fire Blast. Um, the only thing that he would want to switch into us could possibly be the um, the Infernate. But no, he's not going to. Actually, he doesn't really have a good switch in for a Fire Blast. Uh, his best bet would actually just be keep in Gligar. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fire off a Fire Blast because he has nothing that wants to take a Fire Blast except Infernape. Um, but we are running Earthquake um, for that. So we'll kind of see what he goes into here. Um, if I had to make a guess, he stays in. I don't really know what he would want to switch into. Um... He does withdraw and goes into his um, Heliolisk. Heliolisk is not going to light this Fire Blast. Um, doesn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Uh, so that's interesting. And so at this point, we can Earthquake um, and kind of catch him off guard because there's nothing that this Heliolisk can do, I don't think. That can that can knock us out. Um, yeah, if he's specs, uh, he can do quite a bit of damage to us. But in return, we can knock this thing out if he was to decide to do that. Um, I would expect him just to um, U-turn. And maybe go out into Altario ju just to see if that's something that we're, we were wanting to do. Um, so we'll go for the head for the Earthquake. He does U-turn. Um, and I expect he goes into the Altaria here predicting us to go for an Earthquake. Um, that seems very logical to me. And once Mallow Mars is that the... Yeah. Okay. So there's the Altaria. Um... Obviously, we uh, don't do any damage there. We get our health back. He knows that we're leftovers now. Um, and so now we can go for an Iron Tail if we want. But that is going to put... Um, that's going to be very, 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 very iffy. Uh, Altaria. Dragon Dance. So, Return would kill us. That's the issue. Um, return would kill us. Do we have anything that we can do? Um, if he dragon dances here, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, let's see what our nine tails can do. Uh, return will kill. Uh, he will more than likely outspeed us. Oh, he'll absolutely outspeed us after a dragon dance. Um, we c I'm really afraid that he's going to dragon dance, so I feel like we have to iron tail here. I don't really have an another switch in, I don't think. Um, 27 seconds. Uh, I mean, it it's just too early to see if, uh, He's special or not so yeah we're going to go for the iron iron tail here so he's going to a mega evolve i mean it'd be nice if we hit this iron tail uh, i think we're probably going to miss it just to be honest yeah it's just one of those moves so we outspeed him which is really interesting uh and he goes for the cotton guard um which is very interesting uh we actually hit the Iron Tail, which is kind of unbelievable, to be honest. That's kind of unbelievable. Uh, I would like to go for another Iron... So, let me think. If he's Roost... Roost Cotton Guard, how do we break this thing? 
how do we break this thing if this if this thing is roost cotton guard um because i'm gonna assume that's what he does right now is goes for the uh the roost to stall us out so we're gonna go into our lowland nine tails here uh our lavender nine tails very pretty um I, I would expect him just to go for the roost here and try to stall us out yeah that's exactly what I was going to try to do. So knowing that he's more of a defensive Altaria with Cotton Guard. Um, not too shabby, honestly. We can go for the Encore, can't we? We could go for the Encore and make him keep roosting. Because we would by far have to be... If Salamence is faster, hold on, Salamence, 120, uh, that means he has to be 119 since we outsped, or lower, Nine Tails would be at 129, so Encore is definitely the move. Okay. So this is going to be this little guy right here. We do have the HP fire, I think. I think we have HP fire, we do. Uh, and this thing was called what? An Escavalier, that's right. Um, and we actually only do 59 to 71% to this thing. How crazy is that? Uh, so we cannot See, if they're after the Aurora Bill, Iron Head kills us <laughs> by a lot. Um, okay, so we just need to switch out here. Uh, we could probably go into Espelancer, uh, or we can go into our Gryffindor. Um, so all our mods are really kind of sensitive to, uh, to rocks. They're very, very sensitive to rocks. Uh, what do we want to do here? How much does this thing do to Salamence? Iron Head does a lot. Uh, how about High Roar? Uh, oh man, Megahorn does a lot. Uh, Megahorn actually would kill after rocks, almost. Um, but we're going to go in, see our power war, and kind of see what we're dealing with here. I really like that shiny. Iron Head is going to do about 50% quite a bit to be honest um, and then the hell so that's that's painful fire blast will kill um, he didn't bring suicune did he that's interesting that's interesting um, we could work up here And do a lot of damage to whatever decides to come in. Um, which I think we're going to do. If he stays in, I mean, I, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but I want to play a little aggressive. I want to play a, just a little bit aggressive here. Um, I don't really predict him to think I have work up. So he should just switch out to who worst thing could be um, a Scarfed Infernate because that would just knock us out. So we're going to hope that he doesn't switch into a Scarf user. Um, scarf, let's see. He withdrew. I'm going to, okay, that's not, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. We can actually go ahead and just sack off Power Roar. Um, uh, 
plus one. Hyper Voice does a lot. Hyper Voice does a lot. It doesn't kill, but it comes very, very, very close. Um, well, actually, it won't come as close as I want it to. It'll do about 60%, I'm assuming. About 60%. It was somewhere around there. It was somewhere around there. Uh, so we do lose our Gryffindor there. Um, which I'm okay with, to be honest. Uh, we can go into our nine tails here. It is going to start getting worn down quite a bit. Um, or we could go into our... Uh, Siri, which is the Kartana. Um, obviously, there's going to be a vacuum wave user, which is probably <laughs> not. That's not what I meant to say. His uh, his monkey is going to have vacuum wave more than likely. Could go into him. Could go into him. I think the best play, honestly, is just to go into Siri. Um, and then what do we think? I think he thinks this thing's still valuable, to be honest. Um, I kind of want to make a mid ground play here and go for like a night slash. No, not a night slash. Um, gosh, can't really go for anything but a smart strike, can I? I don't think, let's see, I hit him with that, so let's just say 252, um, that'd be about right, some HP, yeah, uh, 52 seconds here, uh, let's go into our Kartana on the Calx, and Smart Strike's the only thing that will kill, uh, so we gotta go for the Smart Strike. More than likely, the Infernape will come out, and that will be, um, I mean, it is what it is. Can't make any predictions right now, though. Okay. So, Smart Strike. Is it going to be any kind of weird set? Okay, that did about 15%. That did about... 15%. What is that thing called? Escavalier. Jesus. Um, Sacred Sword. Mega Horn. This thing is bulky as all get out. Uh huh. Okay, well, we're running out of options here. Uh. I have an ace. <laughs> okay. We'll just go into our salamence here. We're going to take a big old iron head. I'm pretty sure. Good news is we do intimidate him. Uh, Mega Horn, which is going to do less. So that's good. Uh, we'll get our leftovers back. And we're in a little bit better position here. Um, we can make a play here. We can make a play. Earthquake is really not a bad play. Um, or we can just roost. Do we lose anything from just roosting? We lose nothing from roosting, I don't think. Yeah, we're gonna roost. Now we can knock this thing out if we land an iron tail. We can knock this thing out if we land an iron tail. 
Is that worth it to us? I think so. I think we have to land this iron head or iron tail. I think that's crucial. We actually hit it. Wow. That's huge. That's huge. Uh, Mega Altaria is gone. That was a huge check to our Salamence. I cannot believe we hit two Iron Tails. Holy moly. That is crazy. Bulky Salamence putting in some work here. Um, and here's the thing is Salamence puts in a lot of work now with moves that I have. Fire Blast, Earthquake, um, and the Iron Tail. Now the Iron Tail was specifically for the Mega Altaria. So Iron Tail is probably going to be useless if I'm thinking correctly. Yeah, pretty much useless at this point. But with Earthquake and Fire Blast, um, Salamence is definitely the win con of this match. Uh, and just being bulky and having Roost and Leftovers is going to be super, 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 super important for us. Grab me some M&Ms here. I don't really know what he goes into here. Salamence legitimately puts in so much pressure. The only thing I could think of is maybe go superior if he has HP ice. Pray that I miss a fire blast. And two HP ice is sure knock me out. <coughs> that is Never missed, okay. That might be his plan. That might be his plan. Um, honestly, I don't think he goes for a leaf blade here. We could go for a sub though. What if he goes for a sub? What if he goes for a sub? That'd be unfortunate. We might need to stay in. If he has HP ice. But you know, it's such a win con. We, we can probably we can probably handle that. I'm going to Ivan Ooze. I think we can probably handle it. Just to be honest. I think we can handle a sub superior with the team that we have. Leaf Storm, it's not going to do much. It's not going to do much. Um, now, we could go for a Fire Punch here. We could go for a Fire Punch. Um, honestly, though, I think more than likely he's going to put in his um, Gligar. I see that being the biggest thing that could come out um although i really want to click fire punch I'm, I'm clicking fire punch i'm clicking fire punch he's switching out i'm clicking fire punch escavalier please come out um it's not going to kill him by any means um but it will put him in um a good distance of uh like a cartana sacred sword or something like that miko which is a I think the Gligar, yeah. Um, so unfortunately, he does know that we have the Fire Punch now. Um, and that does a lot of damage, to be honest. That does a lot of damage. Uh, and this is just going to be our... We're definitely 100%. Every time Gligar comes out, we're going straight into um, our Salamence. Because we are free to Fire Blast. Um, he does go for the roost. That's a little annoying. That's a little annoying for us. Um, so, the Fire Blast should do a decent amount of damage, to be honest. Because this thing does not have its Eevee Light anymore. So I'm going to assume Fire Blast does quite a bit. And we'll get some leftovers here as well. 
Again, he doesn't have a lot he wants to bring in on a Fire Blast. He does withdraw. He's going to go Danny Ram, which is probably his Infernape. It is his Infernape. Fire Blast does connect. We're hitting all our moves today, uh, which is very, very nice for us. Uh, and then how much does this Stone Edge do? Or, yeah, Stone Edge. Infernape. Uh, let's just say Banded. And let's say it's a Stone Edge. Uh, it doesn't kill us. An Earthquake definitely kills him, I think. Salamence. I'm pretty positive. Uh, earthquake definitely kills him. Um, we're gonna go ahead for the earthquake. Uh, I if he if he how important is this thing? Honestly, I could go into my... Mm, no, no, no. Okay. We're going for the Earthquake. U-turn. Not going to do much, much of anything. And he will just go back out into his Gligar, I would assume. Or his Superior. He did get for a leaf storm last time. Did he not? He did go for a leaf storm. Um, and I'm a firm believer that I can keep hitting fire blast. I'm a firm believer that I can keep hitting fire blast. Now he gets plus two HP ice may kill. And again, that may be his strategy. Danny Rand, okay. Uh, he's pay playing some switchy games with us. It's all right, that's all right. Um, honestly, I'm going to keep clicking Earthquake, I think. Uh, I don't see any reason not to. Hit him power, that should not kill. Hidden power. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so Infernape goes down. Uh, we get a little bit of our leftovers back here. I don't know if he didn't think that I was defensive. Um, if I was fully offensive, Hidden Power may have had a shot to kill me. Um, so now he goes into this thing. Which could also have the hidden power. Um, and let's just see, because I don't want to die yet, just to be honest. Um, superior, 50 HP, uh, ice, salamence, okay, 43 to 53. Yeah, that would, that's definitely going to kill. It's not worth it. I'm going to go into um, Muck here. Because if this thing gets set up, this thing can wreck my team. Hopefully he doesn't sub here. That could be bad. Leaf Storm misses. Um, that's really unfortunate for him that he missed there. It's really unfortunate. I think we're going for the Poison Jab here. I think we're just gonna go for the poison jab. Um, yeah. I probably should went for the fire punch because honestly the fire punch did quite a bit last time. So I don't think he has hidden power ice. Don't, or, he, or he's trying to go plus two anyway. 
see how much this poison jab does. Might be able to poison this thing? Nope. Not quite. Not quite, my friends. Not quite. Um, I wonder if I even have poison touch on this thing. Hopefully I do. I don't remember looking at it. Yeah, I do. Cool. Uh, I would say go in Salamence, but he's getting a little worn down. Siri wouldn't be bad. Let's go into Siri. He might make a double here. He may make a double. He does. Into the electro snack. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not risking anything. that thing can definitely be scarfed um i'd love to do it but i'm just i'm not going to i'm going out to my go lurk here out into the old go lurk and we'll see if he surfs could predict it Through, okay, and goes into this thing. I don't think this thing does a lot too. I think that might have been a misplay, but I could be wrong. Escavalier. Escavalier. There we go. Um, Yeah, it doesn't do much. It doesn't do much. Um, I kind of just want to rock polish here. Earthquake does a tremendous amount to him. Um, I just want to rock polish. How much is this going to do? Iron head. Oh, I didn't even look at the calcs for that. Ouch. That was a decent amount. Uh, we're going to Earthquake. If we can get rid of this thing, his, uh, his defense is like way down. Way, way, way down. Um, a crit would be nice too. Get this thing worn down just a little bit quicker. Wow, that's a lot of damage. And it was a crit. Wow. Jeez. Um... Wow, okay. Uh, he doesn't conserve this thing by any means. We just go for an Earthquake. Good thing is, um, we outspeed everything except for Choice Scarf users. So we will be able to see now who is Choice Scarfed. This forces him to unveil his Choice Scarfer. I think he wants to keep this thing around, does he? Basically, whatever comes in, unless it's his choice card for which I would say it's Infernape or Heliolisk, which aren't going to earn an Earthquake, um, his only choice would bring in Superior. Now, he doesn't know that I have the Ice Punch, uh, but I do. And so that's... Okay, yeah. Okay, so Gurlurk, Go Lurk takes out Escavalier. Um, Superior may come in here and just want to try to get a free Leaf Storm off, um, which would be a mistake because uh, Ice Punch is going to do a lot. Uh, it actually may kill. I can't remember how much damage or uh, how much health he has left, but it may kill. 
I'm pretty sure it does actually. Um, okay, so now we're gonna see that this thing is probably his scarfer. Uh, I just wanna make sure that I'm not getting ahead of myself here. Heliolisk, there's no way he can outspeed, right? Uh, me plus two. Um, Ninety-two times two. One, I'd be one eighty-four, and he's one seventy-seven max. So yeah, if he outspeeds, he's scarfed. Um, and he will outspeed. I, I'm pretty sure he's scarfed. Yeah. Okay. So, what that means is we have a chance to either a bring in our salamance and roost, which would not be a bad idea. Um, would Surf kill though? I feel like Surf might kill after the rocks. Uh, let's see. Heliolisk is not Scarfed. Or, I'm sorry, is not Life Orb. Um, 9 Tails. Surf is going to do very, 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 very little, but it does do 25 is percent, uh, which should be fine to be honest. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make the switch, and we're going to try to get our War Revel up. There's no way this thing does 50 percent to us. Um, with surf, zero percent chance. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and get our Aurora Bell up. Um, and unless something crazy happens, if he was to get a crit with surf, what would it do? And eh, high roll could have killed us. Um, So there's your Aurora Veil. We have 50% of our HP left. Does this thing take us out with some kind of craziness? Superior with the Aurora Veil up. Uh, Leaf Storm cannot kill us unless um, two. Yeah, it can't kill us. It can't kill us. And freeze dry is going to almost kill it. It's going to come very, very, very close. Default. Okay. There's there goes that. My Aurora Veil. But the good news is, freeze dry is going to come through and almost pick up the kill for us. And with the hell all so close. Oh, so, so, so close. Um, he will die this turn. So Aurora Bell comes back up. Guaranteed, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right? I think so. I, I think so. I think Leaf Storm does a max of 46%. Um, right? Yeah. So, <sighs> Leaf Storm doesn't kill. I didn't think it would. Um, Aurora Bell comes up and he will get taken out by the hill. So that's really nice. Uh, now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, Nate. Um, I'm I'm playing to win, obviously, but I will start making plays to try to conserve my differential, just because I'm in such a tough division. Uh, so please, 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 if you see me doing this, like, don't think anything bad of me, because uh, I I'm just trying to conserve my differential. Oh, uh, we know this thing is scarfed. Uh, we are going to go into our uh, I have an ooze, I think. 
Um, yeah. I think that's the best play. I do want to conserve my differential. Uh, Hyper Voice, it shouldn't do much. Or it can be a crit and kill me. Either one. Uh, either one. So that was a little unfortunate there. Um, do I lose here? Probably not, but... Probably not. Gosh, I really, I really need this win. Um, let's see. Carton. Oops. Heliolisk. I know he's a Scarfer. No Life Orb. Um. A big thing right now is getting. Let's see. Cartana. He used Hyper Voice, didn't he? So he's locked into that. And under the Aurora Veil, Hyper Voice is doing nothing. Okay. Okay. I, I feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better. Um, and we just need to make sure we're doing the right thing here. Uh, Night Slash would uh, come close to killing. Sacred Sword would kill. Leaf Blade would kill. Um, do we lose anything from Leaf Blading? He could go into his Infernate. Um, does he go into his Infernate against this thing? Probably so. What? What do we do the most? Infernape. Uh, if we get one kill with this thing, we're in really, really good shape. Um, I hate that we lost our muck like that. But we got to crit earlier, so. Uh, sacred Sword would do the most. That's what we're going for. We're going for a Sacred Sword. And hopefully we didn't miscalc anything here. Goes for his Miko. It's fine. Not gonna do much. Uh Gligar. Level 50. Um Leaf Blade does not do much at all. Uh we can't not even kill this thing with the Bloom Doom. Holy moly. What is going on? Actually, he doesn't have an EV light anymore, does he? Woo! Okay. Can we kill with just 36? No, we cannot. We got a Bloom Doom here. Got a Bloom Doom. That should take out the Gligar. That should take out the Gligar. Let's pray. Let's pray, Beedrills. Okay. So there goes the Gligar taken out with the Bloom Doom. We do get a beast boost in our speed. Um, which does not quite allow us to outspeed the Heliolisk yet. So here is my question. Um, are we still under Vill or no? Yes, we're still under the Vill. Heliolisk. Um, under Vill. At level 50. Uh, even with like a hidden power fire no that would kill hidden power fire would kill would he carry hidden power fire 
Would he carry Hidden Power Fire? Wouldn't be a bad choice. Wouldn't be a bad choice, guys. Uh... Uh, well, here's the thing. If he has hidden power fire, I'll lose. If he has hidden power fire, I'll lose. I'm going for the sacred sword and... Yeah. I guess for the hyper boys. It's not going to do much. I think we win. I think we win, guys. Whew. I think we win. I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure yet. Um, no, wait. Actually, we don't win yet. We don't win yet. What happened? What happened? Sorry, I'm very confused. Did I knock out his mons? I guess I knocked out his mons out, okay. I, I thought he had his Infernape left still. But I guess maybe I earthquaked it earlier? <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm... Uh... Okay, I thought he had his uh, Infernape left. Awesome job, Nate. That was a really fun match. I'm glad to finally pick up a win this season. Holy goodness gracious. Um, that was really huge for us to get a win. Um, give us a little momentum going further into the season. Um, big shout out to Nate. Uh, seems like a great guy. I don't know him too well. We've been kind of chatting just, you know, as we scheduled this match. And he seems really nice and, and awesome. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Uh, I, it sucks that he had to make a few misses and he got crit in an unfortunate spot. That kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, it's the game we play as Pokemon, and that's, that's yeah. You get used to it after a while. Still hurts sometimes. Uh, still feel a little salty when things like that happen. But um, great guy, good battler. All his stuff's in the description below, along with all the other coaches from the APA. So go ahead and check him out. Go ahead and check him out. Subscribe, like his video, his perspective. Go check him out on, on what his thoughts were during the battle. Um, uh, and guys, uh, I'm happy to have a win. First win since season one that we, uh, didn't have to earn from a forfeit. Uh, so next week we go against Kurt, the Buzzwool of the Adelaide, um, uh, Absols, uh, which will be a tough match. Uh, but I'm going to go and hop off here and go to bed because it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm very sleepy. So peace guys. I will see you soon.